What's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another Python 3 basics tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about dictionaries. So dictionaries are kind of, they're really Python specific, but they're a lot like associative arrays in other languages. Um, and the idea of them is they're an unordered, unordered, <laughs> unordered assortment of data, and the data is always keys and values. And again, it's unordered, so you might enter it in an order, and then you might expect an order out of it, or maybe you want to order your dictionary. You, you can kind of hacky order a dictionary, but not really. Um, there is no order inherently of, to a dictionary. So anyway, again, the idea of a dictionary is to have keys and values. A key will be a single element. Values can be anything. It can be lists. It can be lists within lists, so multidimensional lists. Your values can be functions, which can get exciting fast. Uh, it can be anything. So anyway, uh, with that, you can even reference another dictionary in a dictionary. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and show some examples. So we're gonna say xdict equals, and to notify Python that you're gonna create a dictionary, you use curly braces. And then within the curly braces, let's say we have a, a collection of people and their ages. So we're gonna say we got Jack, he's 15 years old, we have ourselves a Bob who is 22. We have ourselves an Alice who is, she's 12. And then we finally have a Kevin and Kevin is 17 years old. Okay, so we have this example dick. Now, just for quick uh, kicks, print example dicks just to see how Python reads it. As you can see, it's almost an exact printout of exactly what we just typed. Easy enough. Now, what if we want to reference something in this dictionary? We want to ask this dictionary, hey, how old is Jack, example dict? Well, you go print x dict and j oops, Jack. So this should be kind of familiar to you guys as far as uh, lists are concerned. We're kind of referencing a bit of data. And so Jack is the key, and then the value is this number right here. So hopefully it's gonna tell us 15. Sure enough, it does. Now, uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is, so we found out how old Jack is, that's cool, we can reference this. How do we, let's say we wanna add something to this list. So for example, let's say we wanna add Tim. So to do that, we'll say exact, uh, x dict Tim, so this is basically exactly how we reference Jack, right? We said x dict Jack, just print out that, that value. Now we're saying x dict Tim, which doesn't exist already, but we're about to make it exist. He's 14, okay? So now we can print x dict, save and run it, itchy ears, sorry guys, and then we have Tim, okay? So see how it kind of just added Tim, like almost like randomly into this? Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. It's, there's no order really to it, but anyway, it added Tim. Now let's say uh, Tim just turned 15 years old, big one five. So now we're gonna say example dict Tim equals 15. So as you can see, we already defined Tim here, and now we're like redefining Tim. Um, and so you'll see this is why dictionaries have to have unique keys otherwise it, everything would fall apart the sky would literally fall whoops we need to print tim again uh, so the example dick tim equals 15. And look how it it's uh this this time like this time it put tim second this time it puts tim all the way at the end wow crazy stuff anyway tim's 15 then we'll print example dict and we can see at first tim was 14 now tim is 15. fancy that Sadly, however, Tim has died. We need to remove him from this list. He's no use being in this list anymore. He's dead. So now, how do we get rid of this Tim guy? Well, let's make some space here. Now, to get rid of something, we can just do del, D-E-L, example dict Tim. This is going to remove the key and value, or values, to Tim. Uh, whoops, we got let's print it out after uh, deleting Tim. X dict. So he was here. Great. 14, turn 15. Good for him. Then he died. Bummer. Now he's dead. Done. So um, now, just as a quick aside, so this is our list. Let me get rid of all this now. 
And let's say instead, or not instead, but now, not only are we tracking age, but we're going to track hair color. So Jack, he's 15, and his hair color is blonde. Bob is 22, and Bob's hair color is, uh, what color is Bob's hair? Brown. I heard brown from the crowd. Now, Alice, Alice is 12 years old, but Alice's hair is black. And we're not in a space, but here's Kevin. Kevin's a ginger, so he's got redhead. Sorry if I offended anybody. Um, there we go. Good. Now we can print. Let's do print example dict uh, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my spidey sense was tingling that I did something, and I sure did. It was Python 2.7 coming out of me. Anyway. 15 and blonde, okay, correct. And we can even go like this. We can say, well, we want to reference just his hair color. Boom, blonde, nice. Okay, so this list could go forever if you wanted. You could also create other dictionaries and you could say Jack is equal to another dictionary. You can create functions and say Jack is equal to a function. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. We'll probably expand on that a little bit more once I get through all of the kind of basic things I want to get through with Python uh, 3. Uh, then we'll get into some more in-depth kind of hacky things, some more intermediate things, that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, I'm still kind of making this series, probably some of you first viewers to this series. Um, I'll still be generating this Python 3 series. If you have any requests or anything you definitely want to see, I highly suggest you request them. Uh, that way they show up for you guys. Um, but anyway, someone's at the door. So... Uh, I'm going to conclude this video here. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.